Welcome 125 Live members. Uh, this is Walt, one of your tech mates, here to give you a brief demonstration of how you can locate fitness videos uh, for your daily workout. Uh, there are several places that you can find these on the internet. Um, on your computer, you would use your internet browser in order to find and play a video. You might be using Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or several other browsers, and you can use the one that's familiar to you. If you're going to play the video on a mobile device, you would also have the option of installing an app for YouTube or Facebook, but that's your choice. Uh, fine to do it if you're comfortable with that, but not necessary to do. So there are three options that I'm going to demonstrate to you, and you, can, you only need to pick one, whatever is easiest and most familiar from your standpoint. One is the 125 Live website, one is the YouTube channel for 125 Live, and the third option is the Facebook page for 125 Live. I'll demonstrate each one. You can ignore the ones that are uh, either uncomfortable or unfamiliar. So we will start our recording at the 125 Live website. And you see up here in the address bar at the top of the window, the uh, URL that we are looking at is 125livemn.org. If you type that into whatever browser you're, you're using, it'll take you to this website. And obviously there's a lot of content you can see along the toolbar, but right here on the home page, our staff has set things up so that there are a whole series of fitness videos right here. It's very easy to access a wide variety of the previous recorded sessions. Now before I click on one of those, the one other thing I want to point out to you is in this menu, if you click what we offer, personal training, there is a page set up here that gives you a profile of our trainers that I think most of you are familiar with. But if you're wondering about uh, specific activities that might lead you to one session over another, you're welcome to review the material there. Now I'm going to go back to home. And again, we're going to see the assortment of fitness videos here. Now, I'm going to start one for just a minute so that you can get an idea of how that would play. There's a red play button right in the middle of each video. It turns red when you hover over it. I'm going to click on that. So I hope that you could hear that video, or I'm sorry, that audio as it was playing briefly. Now, one of the things I want to point out that's a limitation of uh, seeing the videos this way is that it would be nice to be able to expand this to your entire screen. And unfortunately, this is the button that would normally do that. But in this display, it says full screen is unavailable. So that's one of the limitations of driving to the videos in this way you could click on this YouTube link and that would take you to the YouTube site for this video. So that's another option, but I'm not going to do that right now. Instead, I think we've finished our brief demo of the website. So now I'm just going to change my screen and show you YouTube. So up in the browser, you'll notice up here that I've typed www.youtube.com. YouTube is a video site. It's a very rich source of music uh, performances, music instruction. Uh, you can learn almost anything you want to learn with YouTube videos. And if you have tech support problems, I encourage you to come here and type in, you know, how do I do this in Windows 10? And I'm sure you're going to find videos about it. So right now we're just seeing an assortment of different uh, 
videos that YouTube is suggesting for me. So the YouTube logo here, so I'm on the YouTube home page, and if I type into this search bar 125 Live and hit the enter key, the very first thing that it shows me is a fitness session with Brent. I'm going to click on that. Now the thing I want to point out to you is that now that we're at one of the uh, fitness videos that we uh, are interested in, you see here the 125 logo. I'm going to click on that link and I am now at the 125 Live YouTube page, the YouTube channel. And what I'd suggest is that you subscribe. That's going to make it easier for you to get back here in the future. The other thing that you could consider is clicking on the bell. By clicking on that, you would get a notification whenever a new video is posted to this channel. So now that we're at the channel, you see that there are various choices here, and I think what you'll want primarily is to click on that video link. And here you can see all the videos that have been posted on YouTube. Now some of these are not fitness videos. Um, for instance, there's you know ceramics and other uh, activities at 125 Live that have been recorded. But this is going to be the richest assortment of videos, uh, cooking with Ken and uh, various other activities. This is where all of the videos should be posted. So if you've ever seen it or heard about it, you should find it in this collection. Now, in order to play any of these, you just click on that video image. It takes you into the demonstration. So I hope that you were able to hear the audio from Fred there. Now I want to point out, here is that full screen option. And if I click on that, this isn't going to display exactly right in the view that you're seeing, but I am now in the full screen mode. So um, that's ideal when you're ready to do a fitness session. In order to exit the full screen mode, you just tap on the screen if you have a touch screen or hit the escape key and that'll take you back to the usual demonstration. Um, so that gives you a good idea of how the YouTube channel works. Now in some instances if you play a YouTube video you're going to see ads. The ads can either appear right at the beginning of the video or uh, sometimes they'll interrupt the video briefly. The ad plays for just a few seconds. It shows in a little miniature screen in the display and you have the option to click on that little screen in order to exit the ad. I, I don't think that that's going to happen for our fitness videos, but if you play any other videos on YouTube, you could encounter that. So now I am at the Facebook site and uh, you can see up here in the address bar www.facebook.com is where I've navigated to. This is the Facebook home page. Now you're uh, f first of all in order to use Facebook you have to create a user ID uh, that's free to do some people choose not to but uh, if you're a Facebook user you would have access to this uh, your home page might not look the same as mine because they can be customized so up in the upper left hand corner you see the Facebook logo in the Facebook search bar if I type 125 Live oops, and hit the Enter key, it comes up with a, an assortment of matches uh, and it's recognizing that I'm already a member of Fred's uh, group page. But I think what you want to look for in this, in the search results is this 125 logo and I'm going to click on the word 125 
And that brings me to the 125 Live Facebook page. Now, as you can see, I have clicked the like button indicating that I like this site and I would encourage you to click the follow button so that it'll be easier for you to navigate back to the site if you're using Facebook. Now as I scroll down on the home page you see that there are photos included and some videos appear here. We've had some instances where people have seen videos here but then they come back in the future and they say well the video appears to be gone. So there are a couple of options. One is notice that there's this see all in that video section. If you click on that it's going to take you to this videos tab. You could navigate to the same place over here in the left navigation menu by clicking videos. And now you should see the full assortment of videos that have been posted to Facebook. You may see some additional ones like, you know, here's a musical performance. They, they do have some videos posted that aren't fitness sessions, but this should give you access to the full collection of videos. I'm just going to click on one of these and you can see how the video plays and then be aware here that this is the button that you would click in order to take that to a full screen view. Um, this is probably not displaying exactly right in the video but that takes you to the full screen view and you can press the escape key to get back to the normal display. I want to thank you for watching this brief presentation and for being a 125 Live member, for keeping active while you're while we're all under restrictions, for embracing new technology skills and solutions. If you still have questions or need help, here are two resources for you. Our techmates do monitor this mailbox, 125Live Techmates at gmail.com. We're happy to provide technical support, whether it's relating to this topic or other general topics uh, regarding phone, mobile devices, or computers. And any membership issues, uh, those messages should go to info at 125LiveMN.org. So thanks for. Uh, watching this and we'll try to offer other useful things for you.